Do you know what kind of cop you like? Yes. Good morning, Vlogmas. Happy Sunday. I am Allison, the host of this YouTube channel in this Vlogmas series. Um, it is December 13th, so I'm going to sit down and open up today's advent calendars. And um, please don't mind my hair. I'm actually going to be dyeing it um, and get rid of get rid of all this um, here in actually about an well, right after I open up Advents, actually, I'm just going to get it done. Um, I dyed yarn all day yesterday, which hopefully you will have seen in yesterday's Vlogmas episode. Um, and today I dye my own fiber hair. So um, I also have more yarn to dye too. But okay, so yeah, um, my husband and I just ran up to Scooters, which is our local, um, well, local-ish uh, to the... I think I want to say it's just just Lincoln just Lincoln based just Nebraska based I don't know by the way it's like the better version of Starbucks no offense um, so I of course got a peppermint mocha and a delicious cinnamon roll so okay let's jump into advents like I said today is day 13 and I really need to do, I'm looking over here at all of my minis. All of the things I've already opened. I really need to sit down and cake all of them up um, so I can start using them. I did run out of yarn for two of my projects last night, but I didn't want to come down and cake them up. Um, it was too late, so. Um, Good news is, I have three or four advent projects on the go, so I could easily switch to something else. Okay, well I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna open up these advent calendars. Day 13 is very green and yellow themed. How funny is that?
The colorway from Corner of Craft today is Pond in the Feywild, which is just highlighter yellow and green. Looks like some pops of blue. Super pretty. <clears throat> then Lavender Loon is this gorgeous berry wine red. Sweet Sparrow is one of my favorite bases of hers, which is her puffin base, which is this fun superwash merino nylon with a slub. See those little bits of texture in there? And this colorway is called Knitting with Nanny. Again, almost the same green family with yellows as Hannah's color. And then today's color from Lofty Loops is Fredur. Probably, whoop, probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, and this one, the 20 gram minis came on the Lofty Yak Sock base. So again, just that mix of yak and silk to make a gorgeous texture, textured yarn, um, warm yarn, and it also makes those colors just look so rich and deep. I love it. And then today's little Nightmare Before Christmas Funko Pop is, looks like Jack Skellington as a snowman. It almost looks like the little snowman from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the clay stop motion. If you guys know what I'm talking about from back in the day where he's got his little umbrella. Or was it a cane? I can't remember. Either way, he's super cute and his hat definitely matches perfect with the green yarns from today. And then this is the first matcha I'm not super enthused about, to be honest. It is Pina Colada, and which I assume means it's going to be very coconutty and pineapple-y, which is fine. I'll still drink it. I'll try it, but not really feeling the pina colada. Maybe that'll be, I don't know, in an afternoon it'll sound much better than in the mornings. And I've got a mint from Julie. So there's day 13. I did get something in the mail today that I wanted to share with you guys. I definitely was hit with Facebook slash Instagram ads for this because they must know what a water bottle fanatic I am. But it is Circle. I think it's how that's pronounced and this was the first time I had seen this and so I was definitely intrigued so I went ahead and bought one of their starter boxes Just tell your thirst to take a hike so I'll leave a link to their site down below if you're curious but Basically, it's a water bottle that comes with flavor cartridges, which I am, again, like I said, very intrigued. So I got a fruit punch and mixed berry. And then it's just a pretty standard water bottle as far as water bottles go. But the cool thing is, let me set you guys down. Okay, so the cool thing is that these cartridges go inside the water bottle and then it flavors your water for you. So similar to like the Mio's of the world or Crystal Light. But the cool part about this is in all of their 
cartridges. They have different kinds. So this one is a Fit Sip, which includes electrolytes. Then they have a Life Sip, which has vitamins in it. Um, don't know if there's a list of the other ones, but there is one where it has energy and it's like coffee flavored. So it comes in this little cartridge and essentially, I'll have to read the instructions. You put the cartridge in the lid tighten it and then there is a little dial on here so you can turn it whether you want more flavor less flavor um, whatever the strength is that you'd like then you just whoops well I've seen it first here folks the struggle there we go so you just pop it open and you drink out of the tip there um, in your water as it comes through will be flavored how cool is that they have tons of flavors tons of cartridges um, this one this starter pack or trial pack can't it came with fruit punch and mixed berries so I didn't choose those they just must be their default options but I am curious to try this out and see how well I like it um, and then you can either do one-off purchases where you can buy more cartridges or you can actually sign up for a subscription where they will send you so many cartridges every month. Um, so yeah, I'm, like I said, super intrigued, always down to drink more water. Um, they do have nutrition facts on them. A lot of them are zero. Well, I think they all are zero sugar, zero calories, but they also have ones where you can pick the um, sugar replacement so if there are certain um, fake sugars that you try to stay away from you can make sure to not pick those before you buy um, so this one for example does have sucralose in it but I know that they have other options available um, this says that each cartridge depending on the strength so I'll have to test this out but depending on the strength that you set it to each cartridge should be good for at least six bottles, full bottles of water. Um, which I don't know, that's that's pretty decent. It's 120 fluid ounces. And of course, if you turn it down, maybe like a little less flavor, I'm sure it'll last longer or um, whatever. So super cool. I'm, like I said, very intrigued. I'm obsessed with water bottles, so they definitely targeted me correctly. So I'm going to go fill this up and test it out and I'll report back and let you know my findings. I should probably wash it first, but you know. Okay, so I've got yesterday's yarn on the drying rack. Um, as you can see, this was supposed to be Sugar Rush, which was supposed to be like a highly speckled colorway. Um, you can see here that I may have been a little heavy handed with the dye um, and the colors bled a little, but still super gorgeous in its own right. Um, so these will be going up in the shop probably as a one of a kind batch. Then I've got cactus flower here drying. And then of course yesterday's or the day before's and then I've got some vintage Christmas in the pots. Sunday means all the coffee will be happening. It's noon and I'm making another pot. And this is Frankenbones from Bones Coffee. And I just opened it, so I have not yet tried this. I'm excited to see how yummy it is. Um, I love Bones Coffee. I have a whole bunch. Jack DeLantern, Wonder Bones, oh my gosh, there's Macamaniac, Chocolate Raspberry, Highland Frog, From Dust Till Donuts, Caramel Apple, Shark Bite, which was a 
um, limited edition. Um, so I'm really sad because it's my absolute favorite. And I don't know when I'll be able to get it again. So I have maybe a pot left and I'm savoring it. And I just finished off Caramel yesterday. Yeah, I love Bones Coffee. I think you can get a five pack sampler, which is what I usually do, which is why I have so many, um, of four ounces each. And it's like $30 and I think free shipping. So I'll definitely leave a link to them down below. Um, so good. So good. Snow. It's so bright outside. So, <laughs> I want to say over the summer, at the beginning of the pandemic, um, we used to have a big deck here. During the pandemic, or early on, when everyone came home, we were all kind of confined. My husband got a wild hair um, one weekend that he wanted to rip up our old deck because it was it was needing it pretty bad. And he was gonna rip it all out and replace it. Well, here we are in December. And as you can see, we sort of have stairs for the dog, but we're missing a couple boards here. <laughs> the dog has only fallen in the hole a couple times, but he's got it figured out now. Um, but I'm so excited because here in a couple weeks, his company is finally going to come out and rebuild our deck. And <laughs> it's ridiculous. We've got coolers and our lawn furniture that's literally just been out in the middle of the yard. It looks ridiculous. Um, this grill looks nice though, because we still use that, but yeah gonna have a new deck in a couple weeks. Hopefully it'll be done before the end of Vlogmas so I can share it with you guys. Hey guys, I've just realized I never did sign off the blog uh, or the vlog from yesterday. I just grabbed some, after I grabbed my coffee, um, I literally just sat down and took some much needed rest and relaxation. Um, I played some Cyberpunk 2077. My brother came over, we ended up watching um, a movie, and I was just knitting away and honestly just spending time with the family. Just, I really needed to just stop and just kind of, yeah, relaxed, relaxed, relax. I can't words. I just, I just really needed to take some time to just zone out, chill out, have a weekend, because um, I had been going nonstop. So that is why the vlog from Saturday was up a day late. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, I completely forgot to even sign off. So you're hearing from me the day after, but magic. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.